key of M7 will remain in its place until the master key decides otherwise. Master Key will now address us. Report, Donahue. M2 reporting. Brown is dead. The Oratron tube which he stole has been offered and will be returned to me later. Port Stark. M6 reporting. I await the orders of the Master Key. Watch for a man from Washington named Tom Brandt. He will come to your Flamingo Club to question you about M7. The police plan a raid at the same time. Your place is a fire trap. You tie in with the Nazis, too. You're coming with me. Not if I can help it. What do you think, mister? Hello, Jack. What brings you here? Same thing as you, the fire. Oh, yeah? Since when have detectives become firemen? You tell me. You're the big star reporter. Oh, and while you're at it, you can also tell me how I can get to Stark's office. Stark's office? Follow me. Turn to the right at the top of the stairs. Here, hold it. don't know, Stark, won't hurt us. They know plenty. Grant has evidence that connects me with you Nazis through Brown. Can he identify anybody except Brown? He can't now. He's in that fire. I'm Tom Brandt. Yes, I know. I'm one of O'Brien's men. Jack Ryan's my name. A detective lieutenant, and a very good one, too. Glad to know you, Jack. Thanks. How did you know Mr. Brandt was in Stark's office? Well, I pardon me, Jack. Would you mind if I you? Not at all, Tom. That's for Janet Lowe. Hello. Hello. Janet Lowe, sure. You write that column, The Lowdown, don't you? Yeah. Well, I must say you're doing your share to keep politics clean in the city. Thank you, Mr. Brandt. I have my car here. Can I drop you somewhere? I'd like to go to Chief O'Brien's yeah. office. you mind? It's a pleasure. Right. O'Brien. Well, Jack, we finally made it. Police cars travel faster than those driven by lady reporters. You were right, Jack. She brought Brandt back here so she could listen in. Good night, Miss Lowe. Didn't I tell you what the chief would say when he saw me? Good night, Mr. Brandt. Good night. Show her all the way to the elevators. She's lost herself around here on purpose before. So, thanks. Let me give you a tip. If you want to keep a secret, don't give that girl even a hint. A 
she doesn't know it, but the papers have all agreed to publish nothing about the case until I give them the word. That yeah. won't stop Janet finding out about it. She has a secret source of information that feeds news to her almost before it happens. Well, is that bad? She's quite a crusader for good government, you know. I can't be sure. Sometimes I suspect she's in the rackets instead of against them like she writes. doing here? I figured this would be the last place O'Brien's men would look for me. What do you think of easy money now, Walter? I still like it. I'll let O'Brien's men question me in a day or so. Tom Brandt also? Brandt, why? He's, He's very much alive. Jack Ryan saved him. Brandt's alive? Then you've got to help me. Sooner or later, Walter, nobody will be able to help you. And this time, if I'm caught doing it, I'll take the risk on one condition. Tell me all you know about Henderson's Oratron. Did you see Stark? Yes. He's in with the men all right who are using Professor Henderson's Oratron to make unlimited gold. What makes you so sure? The murdered man, Jake Brown. The one Donahue, the private detective, saw die. That's right. Jake Brown's fingerprints are in our secret files of Nazi agents. As a matter of fact, his real name is Jakob Braun, B-R-A-U-N. Nazis with unlimited gold. So that's why you were sent here from Washington. Braun. And we know that there's a definite connection between Braun and Stark. Stark's really done a vanishing act. There's one man who could tell us where he is. Only he's lying low, too. What do you mean? Flash Faust? Yes. Stark's former pal. He's a murder suspect. Why talk about Faust when you don't know where he is? Because maybe Janet Lowe does. She usually knows what the bad boys are up to. It doesn't matter what you say, Walter. You're wrong. You want something for nothing. And you're in so deep now... Hello. Jack Ryan. And just one question, Janet. Just one? Shoot. Can you tell me where I can find Flash Faust? Flash Faust? I would if I could. But you can't. Well, thanks anyway, Janet. Well, I'm glad I didn't have to lie about Flash Faust because I don't know where he is. But if he knows about us... He you're... doesn't. Not even Flash knows you're my half-sister. I protected you that much. I'm getting out of here. This place is too hot for me. He'll be here as he promised. Yes, Power, but will you have the missing autotron tube? You've already told me half that he said he would. If he hasn't, torture Henderson. Make him tell you the secret. No, you don't, Professor Henderson. Stay away from that Oratron. There are only six tubes. It's useless without the seventh. What harm can I do? Never mind. Stay away from it. What? You've got it! The missing tube. Well, well, at least for the time being, we don't need to use any pressure. We'd be very foolish, Hall, to gamble with Professor Henderson's life until one of the tubes wears out. takes from seawater, we shall make ourselves supreme in the United States. We were just a few minutes away from being blown up. I should have thought of the idea sooner. In the future, we shall be compelled to, uh, shall we say, treat you less considerately. Stark's disappeared. Janet doesn't know where Faust is. My men haven't had any luck yet. Let's sleep on it if we can. Wait a minute. I won't give up yet, eh? Well, I wouldn't either if I had an idea. What is it? Professor Henderson had an assistant. Yes, Arnold Hoff. I had him investigated. He's a technician with a good record. Why? Suppose the Nazis placed Hoff with Henderson in order to learn the secret of the Oratron. Say, you may have something there. 
Somebody duplicated Henderson's machine. Could have been Henderson himself. No, I don't think so. Although I'm sure he's alive. But you see, if Henderson duplicated his own machine, he would have also duplicated the tubes that make it work, wouldn't he? You mean Hoff could build a machine but couldn't make the tubes. That's why the real ones were stolen. That's right. That's why they were willing to take the risk of holding us up here in order to get that missing tube back. Well, if what you say is true, where does Henderson fit in this picture? Tubes wear out. You see, Henderson, with Hoff's assistance, will be forced to make more. What if Hoff's innocent? Won't make any difference. The Nazis want him, they'll grab him, just like they did Henderson. So we watch Hoff and then follow them, is that it? That's right. And if he turns out to be a Nazi, we'll follow him. Well, it's a good gamble either way. We got a gamble. I'll start watching Hoff's place tomorrow. Hoff, you were Professor Henderson's assistant. How long will the tubes continue to extract gold from seawater for us? M3 reporting. Only a comparatively short time. You must stay at the laboratory with Henderson. Not only because you're needed there, but equally because the police suspect you. I'll leak my secret notebook. It's behind a picture in my room. We can't risk picking it up. The police are probably watching the place. Oh, we can't risk leaving it there either. Well, I've got a man who'll snag it for us. If he's thought, he won't know anything. And Brandt can't trace him to us. You know him, Flash Faust. Okay, okay. I'll get the notebook you want out of that guy Hoff's room. If you don't, Flash, the police will be told where they can find the body of Corky Blaine. And that'll hang you. Yes, and don't I know it. You don't have to tell me who sent you here. I can guess. Come on. Hello, Janet. What are you doing here? Substituting for Tom? Helping him. I can't figure Tom out. Why would he want you in on this? Maybe he thinks I have the answers to a lot of questions. Well, he trusts you more than I would. And so far, trusting me's paid off. Flash Faust went into that house where Hoff stays just a moment ago. Tom didn't know Flash, but I did. You wait in the car. I'll go around back and make sure that Flash doesn't take a powder that way. here and step on out, sister. Just pray it don't stall. Hold it, Tom! I might have never taken this car, sister, if I hadn't seen you sitting in it. Jack Ryan calling all cars. Jack Ryan calling all cars. Calling all cars. Watch for foul car number 10, stolen by Flash Faust, who is wanted in connection with Corky Blaine case. Janet Lowe is Faust's prisoner. All cars cruising beyond Maine and Seton stand by to close in. We'll broadcast route of chase. Faust seems to be heading for Highway 40. Jack Ryan calling all cars. Lock Garvey overpass. Faust has a chance to get away once he's across it. Don't shoot if you can help it because of Janet Lowe. You can't turn off now until we get to the overpass. My friends are behind you. I've been gambling all along. The police won't get to the overpass ahead of me. Suppose they do. Well, that double-crossing brother of yours reads about me and you in the papers tomorrow. He ain't gonna like it very much. My brother? Brother or half-brother, what does it matter? Wallace well, Stark didn't think I knew. He got me into this. So now his sister's helping me get out of it, see? We're still following Faust. Stand by at Garvey Overpass. Still in 
the clear and we're almost there. Almost there, yes. But not in the clear. Get out on that running board. They'll leave us alone seeing you. Come on, get out there. Look at that. Look what he's doing. He's using Janet for cover. 